Hi Nifties, welcome to Nifties English. Today I will explain about the new one. Yes, this is a hydrological circle. Okay, let's start the lesson. Hydrological circle. Let's write hydrological circle. hydrological circle that involves the continuous circulation of water hydrological circle that involves the continuous circulation of water in the earth atmosphere system hydrological circle that involves the continuous circulation of water in the earth atmosphere system of the many processes involved in the water circle the most important are number 1 evaporation number 2 transpiration Number three, condensation. Number four, precipitation. Number five, end runoff. The sun which drives. the water circle heats water in oceans and seas the sun which drives the water circle heats water in oceans and seas although the total amount of water within the circle remains essentially constant although the total amount of water within the circle remains essentially constant its distribution among the various processes in continually changing its distribution among the various processes in continually changing I will explain water circle described in the diagram. How water is exchanged. Okay? Let's start that. Water circle consists of three major processes: evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. First evaporation evaporation is the process of a liquid surface changing to a gas in the water circle the water circle's evaporation process is driven by the sun as the sun interacts with liquid water becomes an invisible gas water vapor okay second one is 
Condensation. Condensation is the process of a gas changing to a liquid in the water cycle. Water vapor in the atmosphere condenses and becomes liquid. Okay. Another one is transpiration. Transpiration is another important part of the water cycle. Transpiration is the process of water vapor being released from plants and soil. The one of the major process of water cycle precipitation. As the case with evaporation and contention, precipitation is a process. Precipitation describes any liquid or solid water that falls to earth as a result of contention. In the atmosphere, precipitation includes rain, snow and hail. Precipitation is one of many ways water is cycled from the atmosphere to the earth, oceans. Evaporation, contention and precipitation are important part of the water cycle. However, they are not the only ones. Another processes of water cycles are transpiration and runoff. Next one is runoff. For incidents describes a variety of ways liquid water moves across land. Snow melt, for example, is an important type of runoff produced as snow or glaciers melt and form streams or pools. It's a circle. Evaporation, transpiration, condensation, precipitation and runoff. And again, evaporation, transpiration, condensation, precipitation and runoff. Okay, that's it. Please subscribe and press the bell icon. Thank you. Keep supporting us. Have a great day all of you.